this should be fun today we're gonna get to go on a hunt with the golden 10 gauge that just came out uh, as a reward for having the correct uh, event items France won the World Cup and if you had the France uh, event item pants you got the golden shotgun I'm about to see it for the first time with you guys if you've not seen it in game uh, and let's just take a look at it I love this back here the bear on it is so cool uh, I got to see like the design on it a little bit in the store but this is the first time I'm seeing the live uh, kind of 3D model of it, and it looks really, really cool. I'm so looking forward to getting to use this. Uh, but I do want to give a major shout out to Zaggedy K because he was the one that helped me choose France as one of the teams that would win. He gave me like five teams that should win, and I just stuck with that from the beginning, and France actually pulled it off. So congrats to France, and thank you to Zaggedy K uh, for helping me out because I'm Merc, and I have no idea what I'm doing in terms of soccer and what teams are going to win. So we're going to head out here on Timbergold Trails and see if we can get some nice animals with this beautiful beautiful 10 gauge. So I just got to my tree stand, I jumped up in it and this bear's mad at me. That is a heck of a way to get the first 10 gauge kill. I like heard it, I didn't really think about it, and uh, he just decided to charge me. I think I saw like a decent score and weight estimate on that, so maybe a good bear. Yeah, not bad, 25.3 with a heart shot. Uh, that's actually, I wish I was doing the... Uh, the trophy hunting series because I need a grizzly bear for that lodge. I don't know. Could I? Ah, I don't think I'm going to make this video that, but we'll see what happens. If we get a big elk, I might just kind of turn it into a two and one, but a 25 scoring grizzly bear as our first harvest with that 10 gauge is pretty cool. So I'm trying to show off the shotgun as much as possible in this trophy shop, but one thing I kind of overlooked when I was looking at the gun, check out the golden uh, lever and trigger. That's actually a really nice touch as well. I completely kind of glossed over that. And actually, I'm just going to take this before the rain gets any more uh, darkening on it, because I don't care too much for uh, a not monster grizzly, but we kind of just blew everything out of this area, so I guess we'll move on. Alright, so switching to Buckshot for this mule deer, though just to use it, we could use slugs obviously, but why not uh, blast it with the Buckshot. I seem to recall when the 10 gauge first came out, I shot a whitetail buck at like 60 meters with Buckshot, why can I not... There we go. Couldn't get out of the stand. Uh, but I think I managed to drop a white tail at 60 meters with Buckshot. This gun's insane. Uh, but I just was looking at this. Does that bear not look almost kind of Kodiak-ish? I, I don't know. I just noticed that. Maybe that's a, a hint for things to come. They often do that uh, with the engraved guns. We've had hints on them before. So just a thought that I had uh, as I was sitting in the stand waiting for this doe to come in. I kind of looked at that and I was like, uh, maybe that looks like a, a bear species we don't have yet. Okay. <laughs> um, did we hit, did we not hit any organs? Shoulder blade, left lung, liver, neck, left hind leg, head, skull, neck bone two, neck bone three, heart, right lung, stomach, right hind leg, neck bone one, intestine, hip bone. What the heck? How f that was 25 <laughs> meters away. I don't know if that's insane penetration or, or what. We're missing spine and head stuff i think that's it i'm pretty sure we hit everything else that is insanity let's see if we can do something like that again on this wolf that's coming in it is a 15 to 16 male let's try to hit him out he's trotting across here i think i might have been a little far forward to just get rid of every organ in his body but we will take that he had what was it up to 70 kilograms so maybe like a solid 15 and a half or something well, we got everything from the head back to the lungs. Head, skull, brain, left ear, left front leg, neck, and right lung. Uh, so we're missing like the right ear and the right front leg, I think. But a 15.3 score on him. I don't know if this buckshot has been changed, but it's literally insane what it's doing to these animals at like 25 meters. Like we shouldn't even have that much of a spread yet. And it's just eliminating everything. So I mentioned it, and I want to try like a 55 meter shot-ish on this mule deer doe. Since I did it on a whitetail uh, a while back, it seems like the buckshot, if anything, has actually gotten better since I did that. So let's see if we can line this up. I don't know that we hit her. I mean, she doesn't look hit. Missed that entirely. There we go. Uh, oh, hello. Are you guys coming to play? I wish it wasn't lagging. I don't know if it's having problems uh, registering like the amount of hits into the animal. 
but uh we got three <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how many shots we ended up missing so we hit her at 50 meters uh in the head so i just messed up and aimed too high and then just at 13 meters pretty much took out everything in the center and then hey get up to level two with this so does it have a different leveling system then that can't be right I, I think it should have the same leveling as the normal 10 gauge i assume that's not correct because i seem pretty sturdy with this that might just be a little bit of a weird bug displaying that but just took out the neck of this one it looks like actually got neck both lungs the heart and the stomach that's a decent weight mule deer as well 77.6 uh and then this one back here looks like maybe pretty much everything in the center again from left lung back to intestine including spine three not bad uh yeah i think that was my fault on why we mi i i didn't feel like i aimed high but I don't know. We definitely hit too high on that mule deer that was far away. But anyway, I kind of want to find something a little more interesting than mule deer does and small wolves. But so far, it's pretty much been nothing but that. We're going to head up the river here and see if we can get some bull elk. Oh, we might actually have a big bear. 300 to 360, and that was the max score estimate. And he's a gray as well. Uh, man, I almost want to make this into a Let's Go Trophy Hunt hybrid with this, uh, with this golden shotgun. I don't know yet. Uh, but if this is a big bear, I might just have to because I have had the worst struggles trying to find bears during those episodes. And the only reason I'm even considering it is this was like initially to be a video. Like if I went at, if I went out on Timbergold and found a big bear, I wouldn't count it. But because I was recording this to begin with, I'm kind of at least considering it. But I spooked this guy across the river. This might take a while, especially since we're rocking a shotgun. But I don't know. Maybe we can get close. So we're at 70 right now, but he did just turn away from me. So my only hope is that he is going to turn left or right and give me some kind of broadside opportunity because I don't want to take uh, that risk of a shot on a bear that size because a big grizzly is very, very hard to find. Obviously, you can't bait them in uh, like the black bear and brown bear. And then polar bear, I tend to do pretty decent. I haven't had a 30 plus yet, but I can pretty consistently get 29s just by hunting that map. They just don't seem as uncommon as a big grizzly, but man, he's just not really cooperating. Actually, if the, oh, he knows we're here, we better go prone. If the hill wasn't there, we'd have a shot opportunity. So if he keeps walking as is, we might be able to catch him up there on the ridge. I don't know, but now, oh, actually, yeah, we might have a chance. Let's stay prone. Actually... All right, I think that should be a somewhat okay hit. We did use slugs. I got a little bit afraid that I might have forgotten. Uh, but that, I think, should have ended up somewhere in the area of the lungs. I don't know. It was, like, hard to see, and I couldn't get it lined up uh, as I wanted. But let's run up here and see uh, what we have for blood. I'm really, fingers crossed, that it's a single lung and he didn't go very far. Oh, that is not good. That is body blood. All right, I don't think that is going to bring him down. We're going to have to get a second shot in him, unfortunately. At least I think so. I can't imagine a slug body shot bringing him down. I felt like that was pretty good. Oh, you know what? I was told that bear hitboxes are not working properly. I don't know if grizzly bears are included, but that could actually be why that is a uh, body shot. But hopefully we can find him and get him down one way or another because I think he is pretty decent. So I'm a little concerned that this could turn into just how many shotgun slugs does it take to down a grizzly bear because I'm not too sure about the hitboxes. I did feel like that first shot was somewhat good. Let's see. I can't... I just can't tell where I'm aiming. Uh, but I do believe that will be another hit. I don't know how many it's going to take, but I'm not too concerned about getting too close. I'd rather just... Uh, get this guy down when I can see him because a grizzly bear that's just tending to spook a lot is not very fun to try to get close to. So fingers crossed that it's only going to take two body shots with slugs to bring him down. In fact, it looks like he did go down uh, quite luckily. So let's actually check. Did we get into a lung here? Oh, I think we did. Okay, so maybe I did just mess up on the first shot. Somebody... It was in Discord. Somebody mentioned that bear hitboxes were broken. 
Although maybe that was even fixed with the shotgun coming out, I have no idea. Uh, but I just thought that might have been the issue, but 70 something meters away we made a lung shot with the shotgun and let's see, is this guy actually as big as I'm hoping? That is so unfortunate. He is 346 kilograms. That's a full 60 kilograms uh, heavier than the last one and he's actually smaller uh, coming in at 24.4. So the first shot was body at 54 meters. The second one was left lung at 73. So sadly, he's not really all that special even though he's a much higher weight and score estimate than the last one. But I'll take it. Uh, not a bad bear. Now I just got to figure out where the heck I am and where I want to go from here. So we finally have what is not a mule deer doe, a wolf, or a brown bear, and it is a somewhat solid mule deer buck, 140 to 170. I don't think he's much above uh, the 150 mark, and we are going to use slugs because I'm pretty much out of the buckshot that I brought. And he is down, and I've just kind of been thinking as I've been walking along, I wonder if, uh, like, beyond a certain range, maybe 40 meters or something, if the shotgun is hitting high. Because that would actually explain why the first brown bear shot was not a long shot. Because I felt like I had that lined up uh, pretty good. And then I shot lower on the second brown bear shot, which ended up being a lung shot. And then the mule deer that we shot somewhat long range with buckshot, that ended up in like the head area instead of down uh, where I actually aimed. So I'm not sure about all that. And actually even here, that might have been, I aimed a little bit high here, but neck bone three, I didn't feel like I was quite there. But anyway, a 152 scoring mule deer buck is not bad and I don't even I'm just kind of heading down the river at this point because I fast traveled up and I just had a bunch of mule deer does in front of me but I'm kind of thinking of fast traveling again and I think I want to go to this tent I get pretty good mule deer luck there oh I have to wait zero minutes before I can fast travel all right uh but yeah I get decent mule deer luck there to begin with and then we'll probably see if we can get one there and then head off uh in that direction generally I can get some elk doing that so if we can get like one mule deer hopefully a buck and then maybe we can run into a bull elk if we're lucky uh, beyond that. And can we actually fast travel now? We, has, we still have to wait zero minutes. Uh, but once that timer's up, we'll head over there and see if we can get lucky enough to actually have bucks right on the spawn. Alright, we do have a buck here. He just called actually across the water barely in render. So luckily, uh, the timer for how long we had to fast travel finally got down uh, below these zero minutes. And hopefully we can get him coming this way. I would love it. Uh, if there's a group of five, maybe we can try to drop one or two. In fact, uh, while we're waiting for him to come in, I'm going to grab some more buckshot because I only got two shots left in the pack that I brought. So I'm really struggling to get this guy in because there's a bunch of wolves standing over here uh, and he keeps spooking from, but unfortunately he is by himself and he's nothing special. 110 to 140 uh, and there is a doe underneath me. I just realized I'm actually rocking buckshot here, so I should aim low. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I'll aim like just at the bottom of his chest, I think. See if that does anything. Yeah, that worked a lot better than earlier. And where did... I'm not going to be able to get a shot behind the tree, but we'll take that. Uh, we'll run and grab our buck. And unfortunately, all those wolves are running right to where I was hoping to find elk. So I probably should cross the water just to improve my chances of actually finding an elk that's not going to be being chased by the wolves uh, all over. And I can see now there is a wolf running across the water, so that's not helping things. So, yeah, that might actually be a thing that you're hitting a little bit high beyond a certain range. Because 42 meters, you can see I aim pretty low. We got heart and even up into the neck. So I don't know if it's the spread. I don't know if that's actually random or a constant. I have no idea, but it just does seem a little bit like that. But it's uh, apparently something you can work around because aiming low definitely worked there. All right, I don't know where that guy came from, but that is a decent looking buck right there. He might even be a 200 plus. Let's just... Stick some buckshot in his chest. I think that'll just about work for an ending as well. That was the buck that I heard call. I did not expect much out of it, and he is not half bad. Got good main beams and everything. I would not be at all surprised if he's over 200. Not quite, unfortunately, 192, but man, at 21 meters, heart, right lung, liver, stomach, shoulder blade, right front leg, and intestine. Did I say left lung as well? We got both lungs, just pretty much everything. Again, this 10 gauge is literally insane. And hey, 123.4 kilograms. I will get a deer that scores 123.456 at some point. But anyway, we're going to take a trophy shot of this and wrap it up. Not too bad. And I do see where he lost a lot of score. He's got one short time uh, on his left side, which is kind of 
the shotgun barrels right behind it, so it's kind of messing it up, making it look weird, but that was a lot of fun. I haven't done any big game hunting with the 10-gauge, I think, since my initial video with it, and that was a blast, and my goodness, this gun looks cool, and again, you can see that bear... Uh, like in the bottom right of the little frame there. I don't know, that does look kind of like a Kodiak bear to me, so I just have to wonder if something like that's coming because it doesn't really look like any of the bears uh, that we have in game, but maybe I'm just kind of wishful thinking. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. It is very much appreciated, and I will see you next time.